Greetings, everybody. My name is Shamini Jan, and I'm the founding director for the Consciousness and Healing Initiative. And today I have the great pleasure and honor of speaking with Sridhalu Ranade from the Sri Aurobindo Ashram. Sridhalu is a scholar, an educator, and a scientist. I'll be asking him some questions today, and I think we'll all look forward to receiving his answers. Sridhaluji, in addition to being a scholar and an educator and a scientist from the Sri Aurobindo Ashram, you are also very passionate about technology and, as I understand, <laughs> have some technological uh, background mm-hmm. and expertise yourself. Yes. So I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about your background and expertise in the technology <laughs> area and also your views on technology, which, as, okay. as you've said, is just exploding with so much potential. Yes. And we sp- sometimes speak about technology as being a very broad thing. Mm-hmm. Technology includes you know, what some people may call ancient technology mm-hmm. and <laughs> futuristic technology, mm-hmm. inner technology, mm-hmm. outer technology. Yes. So how do you see the evolution of technology? Mm-hmm. In its most essential sense, technology is a discovery of nature's techniques, nature's processes, nature's secrets, which we glimpse and then seize upon and apply in ways that nature is not herself doing, obviously. It's nothing that we create, we discover and then utilize in ways that are not happening naturally. So, seen in this way, yes, there is an internal technology by which we can even transform our thinking power, amplify the mind's potential, develop the powers of intelligence, of intuition, and so on. We can modify the life energy processes within us. We can even enter into the body consciousness and tinker with the biological building blocks of the physical body. And all of these would come into technology, both internally and by external means. But the most special aspect of technology, which differentiates the earlier ancient technologies from the modern ones, is the attempt to penetrate deep into matter and draw out from within matter potentialities which so far have never been tapped in this way. In the ancient times, we had technologies involving powers of the mind and life energy by which we could do extraordinary things, even miraculous things. That's how the pyramids were built, that's how many unusual constructions were made and even machinery was developed. I've personally studied texts involving development of machines in India and these are unquestioned. The technology was real and the texts describe these technologies even for affecting gravity. But all of those involved processes which were on a macro level. Today we are entering matter deep inside at a nano level where we're dealing with the atomic structures and molecular structures and drawing out from them powers and capacities which did not exist in that substance before. And it is this which is the frontier of a new direction of exploration. If this frontier could be aligned to the higher spiritual development, the inner technologies, we could have access to knowledge and perhaps even greater powers to penetrate more deeply into matter and take this journey into a greater completion. Do you see the, the efforts in things like quantum computing and other mm-hmm. areas as reflecting this type of oh, yes, evolution? Very much. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. As you said, I mean, our phones, our computers are all mm-hmm. made of sand. <laughs> right. And so this is, you know, what you're, yes. what you're saying. A mobile phone is almost entirely made of sand. From the screen to the chip, it's all variations of the same silicon base. But uh, as we explore and find means to draw out these powers, If we are tuned into an intuition, there is also a divine guidance, a divine intention that we should realize these things and perhaps even realize more. If we can tune into that, then we can do so much more and so much more rapidly and perhaps even safely. And I believe that the future scientists, the one who will make the real breakthroughs, will have to be innately yogis. Mm -hmm. They must be in a conscious process of personal development and a spiritual development which will aid their 
action in the material domain of technology. Mm -hmm. Certainly, we've we've seen that with Einstein and, yes, and some of yes. the other great scientists. Most great scientists have been mystics. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you. Namaste. We have been listening to Shridaluji from the Sri Aurobindo Ashram, who has been sharing his wisdom with us today, and will also be sharing it at the November fourth Summit Consciousness and Healing Summit in San Diego. Mm -hmm. 